Okay, during this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play a really easy, basic 12 bar blues pattern on the guitar. Um, this can be played on acoustic guitar, it can be played on electric guitar. Um, that's entirely up to you and what you have available. So the chart or the tab that we're gonna look at today looks like this. Um, we've got our 12 bars in there, four bars per row. Um, each bar has four beats in it. So we're essentially playing um, each chord will last for two beats like this. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And to give you an idea of what we're working up towards, um, basically this is a stepping stone into being able to play a 12 bar blues pattern, something like this. So that's sort of where we're heading towards, um, hopefully. So I'll bring our first little step back up on the screen there. As I said, we have four beats per bar and we're playing each of our chords um, two beats long. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's the rhythm that we're gonna be playing in. Now let's look at um, exactly how we're playing and on what strings. Now I always tell my students if you're not sure which strings to play and you have the music in front of you, if you lay your guitar flat, the strings will now match the lines on the page. So you can work out which strings we're playing from there. Now you need to play the guitar upright, but that can be helpful in working out which strings you need to play. In this case, as I look at it, it's these two strings. Now that can be confusing for some students because you've got the two, like second, two second from bottom on your tab, but we're two second from the top on the guitar as it stands up, which is why I get you to do that process of laying it flat to sort of work out which strings you need to play first. Um, basically that's because the top string is actually your lowest sounding string. So on your tab in front of you, the strings are ordered from highest sounding down to lowest sounding. Um, okay, so if they're ordered from highest sounding down to lowest sounding, then we've got not the lowest string, but the two second from lowest strings. The one up from the bottom is a zero. So basically I'm playing that string without any fingers touching it because our frets are numbered. So our frets are numbered one through to whatever, however many frets the guitar has. Sometimes that can be different. But basically as we come down, so five, four, three, two, one, zero is no fingers on there. So if I play a string with no fingers, that's a fret zero. So that is our zero. To find our two, our two is on the next string down. So if I go zero, one, two, now I'm on fret two on that string there. And because our number, our zero and our two are stacked up on top of each other like that, that means we're playing them at the same time. Now I'm only plucking those two strings. I'm not plucking the whole lot, I'm just plucking those two. All right, so to demonstrate that first row, it would sound like this, one, two, three, four, one, just finished the top row. Um, you'll notice that I'm actually, I'm using these fingers just to block uh, the strings after I've played. You don't have to do that, you can just let them ring like this. One, two, three, four. 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 I suppose that's really a stylistic choice more than anything. When we get up to our D, um, which I've colored here in blue, so I've color coded the chords just to help 
um, some people know where they're up to, it can help. So our D chord is in blue. Um, we've still got the zero and the two. However, if you look really closely, instead of playing these two strings, we're now playing the central two strings. Oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, the central two strings and our fret two, our number two goes down a string. So now I've got a zero on this string and a number two there. So we're playing those two strings instead. So I'll demonstrate that. One, two, three, four. So that's our Ds. And then we're gonna change back to the As. Now I've done the first two lines and we're on to the last line. So in the last line, we're using the bottom two lines of our tab, which is to say um, the, the uh, lowest, two lowest sounding strings. So I've got the zero here on the top string and then a two just below it, like that. Now this last line is gonna be the hardest because we need to move around strings a lot. So I'll just demonstrate that for you. So one, two, three. So on the E string, then the D string, then the A string, back to the E string. Without doing the blocky thing so that you can sort of see the strings a bit better. So one, two, three, and E string, E chord, D, A, and E. And that's it. So our whole thing should sound like this. And if you're feeling confident, you can play along if you like. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and D chord. One, two, three, four, A chord. Then E chord. Then D chord. A, E. All right. And that completes my lesson on how to play a really basic 12 bar blues on the guitar. Remember it can work on electric and acoustic, um, just depending on the sort of effect you're wanting. Um, and I hope you have some success with that little stepping stone there. Enjoy.